Hello people, this is Christian. Welcome back to an empty Fusion 360. I already done a save because I always like to start by saving my files and today we're going to talk about a free pipe connection. This is the desired outcome and the person who was asking this on Reddit had already made this and the question was how do I connect these edges to make a, like a nice free pipe connection? And the answer to that is that you don't. Sorry to say that. Uh, a lot of other people also suggested this in a comment, but uh, you can spend time trying to get all these edges to line up and stuff like that. But best thing here is to start over. But uh, let's go back and look at this. This is like a simple free leg connection. There's 90 degrees between everything. But if you look at this, I get the feeling that this is not 90 degrees. You can see it doesn't align with the, what do you call it, uh, the grid of fusion. So, and I also get the feeling that this leg might be slightly longer. But just for ease, I'm going to make all three legs the same length. If you can change that later, that's the power of parametric design. So let's go back to fusion. And just to keep things clean, I'm going to create a new component. If you could begin in Fusion, uh, uh, free connection, let's call it like that. This is a free pipe problem, and we do a free connection. Uh, why we put things in a component might be confusing. When you start using Fusion, you just want to design things. But it becomes very powerful later if you want to put things in assembly. And if you don't put a component, things get really hard. It's a bit confusing. But anyway, do whatever you want. I'm going to cross start uh, by adding. I will start by adding a parameter. I want to use a parameter for one thing. And that is the one of the dimensions I'm going to use a couple of times. That's the pipe. Uh, OD, outer diameter of a pipe. Let's make it 20 millimeters, like that. We're going to create a sketch. We're going to do it on the XY or from the top. We can see we're looking from the top. We're going to do two lines. We can do this line command here or simply hit L on the keyboard. One line in this direction. We're going to make it horizontal. We're going to finish the line command. Another line from here. Somewhere I hit L of the keyboard once again. Up here, you're gonna hit escape to stop the command. These two I want these two legs I want to have the same length. I want to hit D of the keyboard and do dimension. Let's these make this pipe OD times three. It's gonna be three times the diameter of a pipe. And of course, I want to dimension the angle. This is not supposed to be 90 degrees, so let's do 75 for the fun of it. Like that. I'm going to finish sketch and let's open up our browser and have a look. We have a fully defined sketch. So we have made the two angle legs, the two angle legs up here. I'm going to make one downwards. We're going to create a sketch. We're going to do it on, we can do it on a front plane. Do line L the keyboard once again, straight down. And in this case, I'm going to do only one line so I can type in my dimension immediately. Pipe times three, like that. And I made three lines. I'm going to finish the sketch. Have a look. Two fully defined sketches. And of course, to make things easy, we're going to do the pipe command. And we're going to do a non-hollow or a solid pipe. Let's first show you the problem. If we select these two, like one pipe, we get this really nasty point out here, which we don't want. So now I'm going to do undo selecting. Hold down control and click on this line and undo. I want the pipe to just be the length of the leg I have sketches to the connection point here. Hit OK. Once, oh sorry, I forgot the dimension. My dimension, section size, we're going to do pipe, OD, that's why I do use the parameters. I'm going to do another pipe, select this line. Fusion is a bit naughty, it types in the correct number, but it's not using the parameter. So switch that to pipe OD. It would normally go to a cut command here, so make sure operation is set to join. And we open up our bodies in the browser. We see we have one single body, that's correct. We do pipe from here up to there. Once again, section size pipe OD, uh, hollow and join. By doing that, we now have made uh, three pipes that are connected. And we have this ugly, I'm going to hide the sketches. I have turned off auto hide in my preference. That is why my sketches stay visible after I use them for a feature. 
and we are ending up with like this connector here with an ugly corner here we're gonna lose use the feature delete face and this is slightly important but sometimes confuses people i'm gonna show you if you jump over to the surface workspace select oh sorry select the three faces and we hit delete on the keyboard you can right click and select delete face you open up it like this and yeah but we can do now things with surfaces but that's that's not what i do so i'm going to undo and go back to the solid workspace this is this is one of command that behaves slightly different if you're in solid or in surface we're going to do the same thing hold down control select the three faces and hit delete on the keyboard and you can see now instead of deleting the faces fusion delete the faces and tries to heal the body and makes it in a quite nice way because now look at the top nothing goes beyond the arc of this here and the same here looking from the left you can see things stay within the parameter of the legs but the, of course we get a slightly ugly corner here and this is not a video about you make a super smooth transition this is just okay i want to do this i want to smooth transition out here gonna hit f on the keyboard i'm gonna change this first to normal uh, it's normally set to rolling ball i already done this design so it's switch over i'm gonna show you the difference fill it select the three lines and do something like stuff it's five just for fun of this and corner type is set to rolling ball and creates this yeah it can look nice in the corner but i like to switch this over to setback creates a bit of a softer transition and of course, we can change the size of the fillet, but you can see the higher the ma we make it, the closer this face edge gets to this point here where you transition over to the other edge. And if you make it too large, the fillet will fail. So use some reasonable number. I'm going to do six millimeters and do setback. Can look at this. Uh, if I now do control four, I can ha hide the edges and have a look. Well, that's good. Control six makes a visible edges visible again. So uh, I could of course also add a fillet to this. Let's do that. I don't like sharp corners. If you're gonna do 3D printing, I don't want sharp corners. So we're gonna edit this feature. Edit the feature. I'm gonna add the plus sign and add these. Let's turn on the model, these three edges here. And just gonna give them a small fillet like one millimeter just softens up the corner so we avoid any sharp edges gonna hit okay i'm pleased with that and now we need to open up our pipe so we can become hollow we're going to use the under modify the shell command select the three faces if you have problems selected faces hold down control if you by some reason has typed in some numbers when you reselect the faces you often need to hold down the control key and we need to do 1.8 millimeter wall something like that just for the fun of it and we have made this nice pipe hit okay to inspect what's going on we can do a section analysis and select this face here we can move in and have a look at what's going on so we have like quite smooth transition everywhere so you can see this edge here that's was why i apply the fillet out here if you don't have a fillet here with sharp corner you can get a very sharp corner inside too and this just smooths things out slightly you want to cancel that and let's have a look at the picture last thing there are like these uh, transitions to make it easier for most people for placing a water hose or air hose or whatever over this so we're going to do that too in the legs look really long let's edit that we're going to do uh, change parameters let's open up our design we can of course uh, edit our sketches or we can directly do it in our parameter list here so i'm going to change this to two i'm going to change this to two hit enter about is updated hit okay and of course we can change the angle we can do it different ways we could also make a uh, right click here and do our dimensions we can show our dimension that was wrong that was supposed to be 80 degrees so you have a couple of different ways to edit our dimensions now let's add the chamfer modify chamfer select our edges and to my knowledge you can see there's a blue arrow now pointing in that direction and that should be sometimes you can move it you can see both numbers change of course but this is blue so this should be in the length of a leg let's do that five and that i'm gonna do 
so I delete that because I'm going to do it one millimeter. So I get like this long chamfer like that. And in this case, we're lucky. I don't know how the chamfer command sometimes works. In this case, it understands in which direction you want to do all of the chamfer. Sometimes it tries to do this two distance the wrong way. So it tries to do five millimeters and one in that direction. Then you need to split the chamfer into multiple chamfers. So I'm pleased with that. I'm going to hit OK. And we have made our little free pipe problem connector in a corner like that. It's not super smooth. We can have a look at curvature map. And you can see you have like three curvatures. You have one here. We have this here and this here. Uh, if you hide our edges, it's, it's good enough here for a simple connector. If you want to do some super fancy transition between the faces, you can do that. That's up to you. With that said, I hope you found something useful. And I hope to see you around. Goodbye.